Good morning, rookies. I want to talk to you today about a very interesting case I had this morning. Um, I was called, I'm in a clinical office, so I'm a clinical pharmacist today, and a provider called me about a 20-year-old pregnant female uh, with latent syphilis, and she's about 17 weeks pregnant, and she has latent syphilis, and the Treatment of choice for latent syphilis is penicillin uh, benzathine 2.4 million units IM once. Or in this patient's case, she's going to get it for three doses. But she has a history of severe um, allergy reactions to penicillin. Um, she's 20 years old now, and when she was eight years old, she reports having she reported having swelling in the throat from um, from a, from one dose of amoxicillin, and they really want her to have this penicillin for her um, safety. She needs to get better, right? And also for the safety of her baby when she's born. So they wanted to. Uh, the doctor was inquiring about penicillin desensitization. So penicillin desensitization is when you administer several increasingly, um, uh, several small but increasingly higher doses of penicillin to get uh, the patient desensitized, kind of used to it right um and if the patient tolerates that then they go ahead and give the real dose for the penicillin treatment the 2.4 million units so um i told the doctor no problem we have a penicillin desensitization protocol um and my job today will be to follow through and compound all those tiny little doses of penicillin that the patient is going to use um so the protocol starts by giving 0.00025 units of penicillin, then multiply that by 10 and give 0.0025. Actually, I have it written down here. So, the we're going to start with 0.00025 units. Then we're going to go at 10 times that, which is 0.0025 units. And then multiply that by 10, we're going to give 0.025 units. And then multiply that by 10, we give 0.25 units. You get the gist. And then all the way to um, 3 million units. So it's going to be a lot of compounding, but we have to dilute the dose so much um, to get that first dose. And then even to get that second dose. So in total, I'm going to need to make 13 bags of uh, penicillin doses. I have my um, bag here. It's gonna go in Dextro's uh, 25 ml bag. And I have a ton of them here, about 10 bags in here. I have three bags in here. And I have my penicillin, five million units that I'm going to be um, diluting to make these patients, um, these patients doses. So you can see how this couldn't happen without a pharmacist, right? We need to know the math. We need to know how do I get 0.00025 units out of a 5 million vial unit. So I'm going to start by adding, um, on the vial here, it has instructions on how to dilute the vial. I don't know if you can see but to get a 250,000 units um, concentration, I need to add 18.2 units of still water to the vial. So when I add 18.2 units of still water to this vial, I get, and I shake it real well and reconstitute it, I get a 250,000 units per ml. 250,000 units per ml. Now, how do I make 0 0.00025 units out of that? So, my protocol says I'm going to take 1 ml, 1 ml out of that vial, right? 1 ml out of the 215,000 units per ml vial. I take 1 ml out, out and I add 9 ml of water. When I add 9 ml of water, I get a 25 thousand units per ml concentration and i'm going to take one ml out of that and add another nine ml of water and i get a less concentrated uh, 
uh, solution, which is 2,500 units per ml. I take one ml out of that, and I add nine ml of water, I get 250 units per ml. And I take one ml out of that, I add nine ml, I get 25 units per ml. I add nine ml of water out of that, I get 2.5 uh, uh, units per ml. So you can see how we get further and further and further diluted. And I continue with that process until I get a 0 0.00025 um, units per ml. I pulled up the dilutions for you guys to see. I think having a visual is better than me just talking and talking and talking. So I took my five million unit vial and I first added 18.2 ml of sterile water to get this concentration. And then I took one ml of that concentration and added nine ml of water to make a lower concentration. And I took one ml of this concentration, added nine ml of water to make that concentration. And which, with each nine ml of water that I add, I get a smaller and smaller concentration. So at the end, I'm going to have all these syringes with these various, sorry, that's other drugs. Let's get back to penicillin. So in the end, I'm gonna have all these syringes with all these different concentrations. So with each syringe of these concentrations, I'm going to take four ml of each of these syringes and shoot into a 25 ml dextrose bag. So by taking four ml of this to 50,000 uh, units per ml, times four, I'm going to make a one million unit bag. And with this bag here, with this syringe, four ml, so that is going to make a 100,000 unit bag. And four ml of this is gonna make a 10,000 unit bag. So we are going to do that for all of these concentrations. And um, with this uh, concentration here, the lowest one, the patient gets a zero point, I think 0 0.1 units um, bag. So the patient is gonna get the small dose, the smallest dose, and then another small dose, but a little bigger. And then the patient is gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger doses. And if they tolerate all these doses, they're ready to get the 2.4 million unit intramuscular injection of uh, penicillin uh, benzathine. So if the patient tolerates all those tiny doses, increasingly tiny doses, then they are um, ready to get the 2.4 unit IM injection of penicillin benzathine. So it's going to be a fun day in the IV room, making all these and I'm just, and as I'm doing this and as I'm working, I'm, I'm just happy to be part of the solution for this pregnant woman to be able to get her treatment, which she wouldn't otherwise have been able to do unless pharmacist was here. So what pharmacists do is what I do, is what I talk about. Follow me on Instagram, uh, TikTok, um, contact me on any of those uh, platforms if you have any questions, any recommendations, any suggestions. Uh, I'm the Lucky Pharmacist. Until the next video, have a great day life god bless you and god protect you love you bye, -bye.